In few previous videos, we have covered lots of fundamentals about ASP.NET Core Web API. Now it is time to combine all these fundamentals and create a new ASP.NET Core Web API application that will have the real world RESTful Web APIs. Let's open the Visual Studio. Just to learn everything from scratch, let's create one more project. Here we have to choose this ASP.NET Core Web application. Let's choose this one. Hit the next button. Enter the name of the application that is bookstore.api. Then we have to choose the location. Just hit the create button. Hit the create button. Now let's add a new controller in this application. Choose the API controller. Hit the add button. Give it a name books controller. Hit the add button again. In this application, we have to work with the SQL database. So let's create one more folder with name repository and let's add few repositories over there. Inside this repository folder, we can add one more file with name book repository. In this repository folder, let's add one interface with name iBook repository. So let's right click, choose add, hit the class, or you can search for new item and then interface. This one, and give it a name iBook repository. Hit the add button. Here we are. Let's use the public keyword here. And we can simply use this interface in our repository. Now let's open the startup class and over here let's configure our services. Here we can write services dot add transient and here we can define first the name of our interface and then the implementation. The name of the interface is iBook repository. Let's paste it over here and then the actual name of our repository that is book repository. Save the changes. Resolve the namespace. The skeleton of this book store application is ready. Now we have to work with the database and we have to implement some operations in this application just to work with the book store application.